This is a video tutorial on how to chop samples up and assign them to your MIDI keyboard or the keyboard on FL Studio. This is a very useful technique when you're working with samples and you want to experiment with different combinations. Um, it's really useful for rearranging samples and just playing them and making it a very quick, efficient process. So the first thing you're going to want to do is load your sample into Edison so you can chop up your samples. So find your sample in a folder to the left here. Right click on it and click edit or edit an audio editor and it will load into Edison right here. And then you want to click and drag the boundaries for where you want each individual top to be. So I usually like to have a single note or a single chord um, per chop. So once you've got your chop selected in red here, you're going to go to the scissors and click on trim or control delete does the same thing. And then you want to go to this floppy disk icon and click save sample as or control s does the same thing. And then name it and save it and it will appear in the same folder that you got the original sample from. So once you've got all your samples chopped up, you're going to want to load them into your workspace. So one thing to do, however, before you mess with the fruity layer at all is mess with the volume wave. And I'll explain why in a second. But to do that, click on your sample. So your channel settings comes up. Click on the instrument. And then make sure volume is selected. So you have your volume wave here. And you'll notice the default setting is when you play the sample, no matter how long you click down on a key, the sample will play out for its entire duration. So Watch when I just tap middle C, the entire sample will play. And when you have all your samples assigned to individual keys, if you keep it at the setting, it's going to sound very muddy if you start playing a lot of samples right next to each other because the samples are going to be overlapping. So one thing I like to do is make sure that the sample is only going to play for as long as I'm holding the key down. Okay. So to do that, you're going to mess with your volume wave right here by manipulating these knobs. And you're going to make sure your delay is all the way down, your tack is all the way down, your hold is all the way up, decay is all the way down, sustain you can leave where it's at, and your release is all the way down. So your volume wave should now look like this rectangle right here. And you want to make sure you do this for every single chop that you want to assign to your keyboard. Okay. Now this can be time consuming when you have say 15 or 20 different chops to do this with. So one shortcut I like to do is manipulate all these knobs so you have your volume wave looking like a rectangle for one of the chops. And then right click on your sample and click clone or just press C. And you'll notice in this clone the volume wave is already manipulated like we did in the first one. And then you can take your other chops and just load them into the clone and this volume wave is already this rectangle that we've created okay and you haven't had to manipulate all these knobs so once you've done that for all of your chops then you're going to assign them to the fruity layer to do this you're going to go to channels then add one and then layer is right here at the top it's not in alphabetical order okay and then you want to select each of your chops that you're trying to assign to your keyboard by making sure that each little green box here is highlighted. To do that, you right click on each box or you can just right click and drag through all the ones that you want. And then go to the channel settings of the layer and click set children. And what is what this has just done is assign these three chops all to the middle C key. So when I press middle C, they're all gonna play but I don't want that. I want each sample to be assigned to an individual key. So I go to this menu right beside layering and I press split children. And this is just assigned all these samples to an individual key starting with middle C here. So when I highlight layer and I press middle C, the first sample plays and then C sharp. You get the idea. So anyway, this will work for as many samples as you want, starting at middle C and going all the way up. And that is pretty much it. That's how you 
assign your samples to your MIDI keyboard using the Fruity Layer. Just make sure that when you're playing your samples to get this effect that you have the layer selected. Um, if you have any questions, post them in the comments. If you like the video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more FL Studio tutorials like this one. And I hope you learned a lot during this video. Thanks for watching.